Wake up, sleepyhead. We're gonna be so late for the interview. <sighs> Wait, that was today? Yeah, fashion designer Marco Beretti is in town to debut his hot new fashion line. We have an interview with him for the Bratz Magazine digital feature, remember? We have to be there in 60, and you're still catching Z's? Could you round up the girls and make sure they're ready? Wait a sec. You're still giving me major sleepy vibes. Try stretching your legs a little first. Let's move around the room. <laughs> Slamming. Now, see how the phone on the table's lit up? That means you can interact with it. Why don't you try getting close to it, then grab it? I swear I saw it around here somewhere. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Yasmin? Is it the Tweevils? Ghosts? Aliens? Ghost aliens? <sighs> Chill, Chloe. It's just my denim jacket. I can't find it, and I want to wear it to the interview with Baretti. Oh, <laughs> but you look scorching already. Thanks. But that jacket was going to complete my look. Can you help me find it? I think I left it in the hall. Jacket! Oh, Angel! You're an angel! This'll totally make the look. We should take a photo! Let's start by getting the camera out. Those are some selfie skills! Post it! That pic's gonna slay! You know, now I see it. This jacket doesn't work with these shoes at all. Bye bye denim jacket! Your cuteness is not needed today. You know what, though? It'll look rocking on you. Why don't you try it on? Come on, let's hit the wardrobe. Hey, Chloe, what's the 411? Hold up, we're heading out already? Yeah, Sasha, the interview is in an hour. An hour? It's just, I was hoping to redo my makeup before we left, but I can't find my makeup kit anywhere. No stress, Bunny Boo. We can always find time to help a bestie in need. I'll find it for you. Girl, you're a lifesaver. I think it was in the main room someplace. You found it! 
I swear, that's the last time there's more than five feet between me and my lip gloss. Ooh, I just got a great idea. Let's give you a little makeover before we leave. Let's move, people. Head to the vanity. Okay, ladies, we ready to do this thing? Fashion interview, here we come. Come on, Bratz Pack, time to hit them all. Wait, uh, how? I forgot how to get there. What if we get lost and wind up in the wilderness? Then it'll rain and my hair will be ruined and then we'll have to dress like a lumberjack and live in the woods forever and I... Uh... Whoa, Angel, reality check. We'll use the map application on our phones. It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Big time fashion reporter, you ready for the interview? Uh, I'm actually kind of nervous. Can we go over the questions again? Sure, what are friends for? So, according to my notes, Marco Beretti is from Milan, Italy. He's been a fashion designer for 20 years, and his hot new clothing line is inspired by Italian rock bands. Italian rock bands? This guy's my vibe. We should ask him about that. Totally! That's a great clue! Sometimes, we'll find clues we can use during our interviews. If we find all of them, it'll for sure make our interview better. I've added, takes inspiration from Italian rock bands to the list of clues for the interview. Thanks for the pep talk, guys! Mwah.
Can I help you? Hi, Mr. Baretti. Yasmin here, reporting for Bratz Magazine. We're here for the interview we discussed. The interview? Ah, ah yes. A about my new clothing line, see? That's right. You ready? Not at all. It's a disaster. My little Paula has disappeared. <gasps> oh my gosh! Your daughter's gone missing? My daughter? No, no, my, my, my papi. My beautiful, darling papi. She ran off while I was distracted by a, a simply perfect pair of jeans. Curse my impossibly brilliant eye for fashion. Don't worry, Mr. Beretti. No one knows Stylesville like we do. We'll help you find her. Oh, grazie, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Baretti! Oh, Paola. My beautiful Paola. How I missed you. Thank you, girls. Don't mention it. Now, where were we? <gasps> the interview. Now is the perfect time to dive in. See? Okay, Mr. Baretti. Interview time. Let's talk fashion. My favorite subject. What inspired you to become a fashion designer? Fashion is my way of sharing beauty and passion with the world. What's this season's hottest accessory? Chunky chain necklaces, of course. One last thing. Is it true that your newest line is inspired by Italian rock bands? Why, yes. You're well informed, I see. Leather, safety pins, fishnets. All inspired by my meetings with Italian rock legends. And that's it, Mr. Beretti. All done. Before you go, let's finish up with a selfie. Did someone say photo shoot? live on the Bratz Magazine site. You said it, Cool Cat. Come on, ladies. Let's head to the apartment and publish the story on the computer.
our customers. Here to buy tickets for the talent show? A talent show? Here in Stylesville? Huh. First I've heard about it. Figures. I hired some reporters to promote the event, but they never showed up. No sweat. We're all about spreading the word on hot happenings in Stylesville. You're talking to the music editor of Bratz Magazine. Bratz Magazine, huh? Can't say I've heard of it. Tell you what, if you can get 10,000 subscribers, I'll set you up with front row seats for an exclusive scoop on the show. Hey, smoothie special? Wait, Eaton? You're the smoothie maestro that's got the town talking? Who else? But if you've come to try my sunshine in a glass smoothie, you're out of luck. I'm missing a bunch of ingredients. A sunshine in a glass? You've been hitting the online marketing classes again, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Man, I could go for a sunny smoothie right about now. I know. How about we collect the missing ingredients so we can make it? Sure. What ingredients do you need? I'll start you off with the easy part. I need three oranges. The ones that grow in Stylesville Park. Oranges? Park? Got it. Later. Isn't Bunny Boo herself? Fiana, what are you up to, girl? Soaking in some Stylesville sun? Because today is hot. You got me. I'm also running some rad yoga sessions in the park. Some of my students are over there now doing some crazy yoga contests. You girls should join in. I'll even throw in a prize for the winner. Hey, you got the oranges. Next up, the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient? What is it? Chia seeds? Bananas? Blueberries? Uh, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. But if we don't know what it is, how are we supposed to get it? Hmm, let's make this interesting. My mysterious ingredient just got flown in at the airport this morning. How about you go pick it up for me? And if you can figure out what it is without peeking inside the box, you ladies get free smoothies for a week. Imagine it. Seven whole days of free foodie fabulousness. Oh, you're on, Eaton. Cool. 
And remember, no peeking. Come on, girls. Looks like we're headed to the airport. Hey, Megan, you look like a girl on a mission. You headed somewhere grooving? Oh, hey! How'd you guess? This chick's flying to LA. I got tickets to an Alonce concert. No way! Those chicks sold out in, like, a minute. I know, right? It's gonna be epic. Even the tickets look cool. Check them out. Oh, no. No, no, no! This can't be happening! Don't tell me you lost it! My ticket! It's gone! What am I gonna do? Wait, I know I had it when I was at the smoothie bar in the mall. Would you go check for me? We're here to pick up a package for Eaton. Apparently it's got his top secret smoothie ingredient inside. Sure thing. It just arrived this morning. Jackpot! Here you go! Thanks! Let me know if you need anything else. Need something? Let me level with you. Egan challenged us to work out what his secret smoothie ingredient is, without picking inside the box. Could you give us a clue what's in there? No problem. <laughs> hmm. Let's just say there's a good reason people are going nuts for his new recipe. Going nuts, huh? Thanks for the tip. I guess we'll cash you later. <laughs> Secret ingredient, as promised. Thanks. Four smoothies coming right up. Hey, mind if we grab a quick interview for the mag? If we're trying a hot new recipe, we gotta tell our foodie fans about it. Sure. So, Eaton, where did you learn to make smoothies? Social media, mostly. There are tons of great tutorials out there. What's the secret to a slamming smoothie? Good ingredients, a good blender, and a whole lot of love. One last question. Is it true that your secret ingredient is nuts? We're guessing you use cashews or almonds or something. Uh, I knew you girls couldn't resist a good mystery. You got me. I make my smoothies super creamy with cashew milk. Delicious and vegan. Thanks for the inside scoop. Anytime. Hey, come for a smoothie? Maybe later. Have you seen Megan's concert ticket? A ticket? Here? I don't think so. 
Why don't you ask the last person who sat at the same table as Megan? Eaton, you're a genius. Who was it? I don't know their name, but they were wearing a red hat and purple shirt. Purple and red? Hmm. Huh. Gotta love a daring color combo. Shouldn't be too hard to find. A ticket? I haven't seen one, but I think I heard someone talking about it. Really? What did they look like? He was wearing a white shirt and blue jeans. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, I found a ticket. I'm not an Alance fan, though, so I gave it away to a girl with red hair and a pink jacket. Wait, this is Megan's? She and I get way back. You better get this back to her. I bet she's freaking. Big time! Come on, y'all. We got the ticks. Now we gotta hit the airport before Megan's plane leaves. cold trip coming up too. My suitcase is getting dustier than Chloe's old makeup brushes. Maybe a fun trip will pop up on your calendar. You never know. Wait! We so can't let you go without taking a pic of your style and airport look!
Fiona mentioned you were running some kind of yoga contest? You heard right. Yoga's pretty chill normally. But today, we're spicing things up with a little competition. We're beyond in! The rules are simple. Whoever can hold a pose the longest wins. Okay, Chloe, you got this. Ready? And pose! can't hold it! Okay, okay, you got us. Phew! Oh, wait, I totally spaced. Yoga always gets me way relaxed. Did we win? So, how'd it go? You're looking at the new yoga champs of Stylesville Park. Translation, we won! Nice moves. Looks like you earned yourselves a prize. If you ever want free yoga sessions, I'm your gal. Just drop by the park and talk to me. Fiona, you're the best. Hey, quick, let's grab a victory photo. Hey, what's up? Hey, Dylan. Hey, Eden. And who's this little cutie? This is Missy, my neighbor's cat. I'm taking care of her while she's on vacation. Hmm. She looks kind of bummed out. Hey, that's just it. She's been acting off all day, and I don't know why. I thought maybe you guys could help. You better believe it. Brats, we got work to do. Something's up with Missy, and we have to figure out what. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Oh, I know! Cats can be pretty fussy eaters. 
If Dylan's feeding Missy something different than what she's used to, maybe that's got her feeling not so stylin'. Cats need a lot of love. Maybe Dylan isn't petting her enough. Cats can be total party animals. Literally. They like socializing as much as I do. Maybe Missy's got a BFF back home and she's feeling lonely without them. So, did you figure out what's wrong with Missy? Hmm. Let me ask a few questions first. Some cat food my neighbor left? Only all the time. I love cats. Only all the time. I love... Now that you mention it, my neighbor did say something about a cat Missy hangs with. Listen up, people. Detective Sasha's cracked the case. I know what's got Missy in a tizzy. For real? What is it? Of course! She's feeling lonely. I'll go take her to meet her friend right now. I'm sure that'll get Missy feline fine in a flash. Gecko, what are you up to? Hey, I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project. I'm here at the theater to photograph streetwear outfits. The dancers here got me mad inspired. Want to do some modeling with me? Come back in streetwear clothes and blue makeup and the same style as mine. Oh no. This is the worst luck since we put on the Scottish play. Hey, Brett's back here. Back and ready to cover the talent show. Uh, are you okay? Ugh, it's hopeless. 
If things don't start looking up soon, there won't be a show to cover. Oh no! What's the sitch? It's ten minutes till curtain up and we're nowhere near finished with all the preparations. We'd need a miracle to get everything ready in time. What do you say, ladies? Sounds like a mission for our fierce fashion foursome. Really? But there's so much to do. We need to hang some posters around the entrance, take pictures of the contestants for social media, and give the marquee a brand new look for opening night. Is that it? Come on, guys! We've got a show to save! And just in time for the opening number. Who says you've got to be late to be fashionable? Pretty and punctual. I don't know how you did it. But it looks like the show's ready to start. Brava, girls. Brava. No biggie. I was head of the prom committee. I got some mean event prepping skills. Quick, quick. Take your seats. It's showtime. Oh, it's a disaster! A catastrophe! Oh no, not this again! What's wrong now? It's curtains for the entire production! The talent show is cancelled! What? What happened? Did someone say good luck to a performer? It's bad luck to say that in a theater, right? Oh my gosh! I just said it! After all our hard work, we'll have to send the audience home. Wait! How come? 
The dance crew that was supposed to appear at nine can't make it. One of them overslept and missed their plane. Dang, that bites. Can't you just go on without them? Our tickets promised four performances minimum. Alas, the drama, the disappointment. Okay, crazy idea. How about we do it? What do you mean, cool cat? Remember that dance routine Sasha worked on after Camp Starshine? Think we could bust out some of those moves? Well, duh! You gotta ask. Of course! Then it's a no-brainer. We'll replace the missing dance crew. That's excellent news! Speak to Fiona backstage when you're ready to start. So, you're the new dance crew, huh? You girls have got guts stepping in last minute. Talent show? Spotlights? How could we resist? Plus, Sasha's choreo is pure fire. The competition's pretty hot this year, but you know I'm rooting for you. Whenever you're ready, step through the stage door. Amazing! Spectacular! That was one scorching performance! Elegant, edgy, exciting! Bretz, there's no doubt in my mind, you've won the talent show! The prize is yours! Rockin'! Wait, did you just say prize? There's a prize? Oh, didn't I say? First prize is tickets to the Extreme Games in Barcelona for the whole team. No way! You've got to be kidding! The Extreme Games? That'd be the perfect place to get sporty scoops for the magazine! Plus, hola sunshine! Okay girls, let's get this article published. Then, next stop, Barcelona!
ensemble. Let's get it snapping. Thanks for the model and magic. See you around. Welcome to the Extreme Games! This year is going to be our best yet! Extreme sports, extreme drama, extreme coolness. Testing the world's greatest athletes to the extreme. You're reporters, right? Right! Well... I've got a surprise event for you that you'll definitely want to cover. The Extreme Games are all about excellence. The best of the best. So, we've cooked up a special challenge. Any magazine who wants full access has got to reach 100,000 subscribers. Think you're up for it? Sure, we got this. That's the spirit. Catch you on the flip side. Vin Zaviat! Right! Extreme Game surely got us an extreme apartment. Speaking of extreme, I 
want to get an extreme tan as well. Let's hit the beach for a little R and R. Beach? Oh, fashion emergency. I totally forgot to pack a swimsuit. Well, we could go get a new one. I mean, Bunny Boo can't kick it beachside in her town clothes, right? Oh, yes. As if we need an excuse to go shopping. Girls, it's mall time. What's up? You here for the roller skating race? It's one of the Extreme Games fringe events happening all over the city. Sure, we're down. We used to skate circles around Stylesville. Rad stuff. If this is the first time you're doing the Barcelona track, you better get familiar with the circuit first. You gotta know the bends like a pro, right? Here are the different locations you should know about. If you could take a picture and bring them back so I could check them out, I'd be so grateful. No problem.
We're all set. We're besties with the track now. Totally know all its secrets. Nice. I guess that means it's showtime. Skates on. Let's roll. get so fast once you got running and hills down skates are easy true come on how about we take a picture go for it Do you sell swimsuits here? Customers, finally! No one's been in all day. Wait, no one's been in but us? Well, that can't be right. These clothes are totally slamming. I don't know. I guess maybe my designs aren't for everyone. No way! Like Angel said, this place is a fashion treasure trove. Maybe the store just needs a little promo. You really think so? Hmm. I know. I should go spread the word around the beach. That would get some customers. But I can't leave the store right now. Maybe you ladies could help me out. I'll throw in that swimsuit you were looking for. What do you say? Wanna spread a little passion for fashion? Duh!
I don't know what to say. This place is buzzing. Thank you so much. Hey, don't give us all the credit. Your hot designs did all the heavy lifting. <sighs> Thanks. One swimsuit coming right up. Here you go. Hope you like it. Okay, real talk, Dylan. Is Eden avoiding me? He's totally giving me the cold shoulder. I don't know, but it's not just you. He's been hiding from everyone on the balcony, like all day. Weird. Come on, let's check it out. Uh, don't come out here. I look ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Eaton! How sunburned are you? I hit the beach earlier and kind of forgot to wear sunscreen. That's super dangerous, Eaton! Sunscreen! Barcelona! Kinda not optional. Yeah, I guess I learned that the hard way. Dude, you look like a tomato! Dylan! Jeez, we have to be able to do something to help. Girls, we've got to help Eaton out. He looks redder than our Rock Angels cruiser. Ideas, anyone? I thought I packed some aloe gel, but I don't know where I left it. That'll work. It's got to be here somewhere. Nope, not here. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, zilch. No lotion here. you a little something for your sunburn. Man, thanks. Huh. 
<sighs> you know, that does feel a lot better. Please don't do that again. Sunburn is no joke. But now that we've all seen you, you might as well stop hiding. We're not gonna judge, silly. But... I look like a lobster. Yeah, but a cute one. Scorchin' style isn't about looking perfect. It's about self-confidence. Here, let's take a photo. Who cares if you're a little red? Hey! Ready for the water fight? Ready for the what now? There's a water fight going down? Of course! It's one of the Extreme Games Fringe events! Count us in! You're looking at Styles High's Resident Queens of H2O! Hmm... Well, you're gonna need a water gun to compete. You should ask around. Maybe one of the other contestants has a spare water gun you can borrow. need of a super soak and assist sorry I've only got one any extra water guns? I just lent my last one to someone else. Sorry.
borrow a water gun? <laughs> of course. Here you go. Don't forget to fill it up at the water fountain before the event starts. I see you found a water gun. Looks like you're in for a shot after all. Then let the extreme water fight begin. one insane water fight talk about staying hydrated angel your aim was off the hook we should totally take a selfie the wet hair look is in after all You're in Barcelona, too! <laughs> sure am! I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project! I'm here in Barcelona to photograph the Scorching Beach Babe look! Wanna do some modeling with me? Come back in beach clothes and orange makeup and the same style as mine!
bring on the beach, babe, look. I love it. Let's get a photo. Whoa, that shot's a keeper! Thanks! Where is she? Where is she? Hey, you okay? It's my friend. We were chilling on the beach, and now I can't find her anywhere. Okay, don't panic. The best thing we can do is talk to a lifeguard. He'll tell us what to do. Thanks. I'll keep looking for her too. Her name is Ina. She's got bright red curly hair. <laughs> you can't miss her. We think a girl might have gone missing from the beach. Do you know what she looked like? She's a redhead with curly hair. Her name is Ina. Okay. Don't worry. I'll see if I can spot her by the water. You should head to the surf shop to see if they saw her there. On it. Excuse me? Have you seen a red-haired girl come through here? Now that you mention it, yeah. She came by a while ago. She was asking around about getting a smoothie. A smoothie? I think I know where she could be!
That's me. Have we met before? No, but your friend is super worried about you. He's been looking all over. He is? Oh, man. I wanted to surprise him with a drink while he was sunbathing. We've been besties forever. And I know he loves a good smoothie. I guess I should have told him where I was headed, huh? I'm sorry for worrying everyone. It's cool, girl. We're just glad you're good. We'll go tell him you're here. Hey, we found your friend. Phew. Where is she? At the smoothie bar. She was buying you a drink. It was kind of cute, actually. Oh, Ina, you big softy. Thanks for your help. I owe you girls big time. Hey, we found the missing girl. Really? Where was she? Sipping smoothies. She was grabbing a drink for her friend. Well, she got that part right. It is important to stay hydrated on the beach. Thanks for the assist. You did a great job. You know, I would look pretty cute in a lifeguard uniform. We should really share a story discussing the importance of safety at the beach and being mindful of where you're going. How about a selfie for the article? Sure. Hey, looking sizzling as always. 
You know it. I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project. I'm here at the Extreme Games to photograph some style and sportswear. Want to do some modeling with me? Come back in sporty clothes and green makeup and the same style as mine. Bratz Magazine incoming! Hey, we got those 100,000 subscribers you asked for. Nice work! Guess that means you're ready for your first Extreme Games scoop. Today, competitors go head-to-head -head in several contests. How about you start by interviewing the Wings, Blaze, and Tiburon teams? They're the big thing in extreme sports right now. Coolness! We should snap some photos, too. Knock yourselves out! Sasha here, reporting for Bratz Magazine. Mind if we get an interview? Sure. Hit me. So, what drew you to extreme sports? The adrenaline, 100%. I'm all about the thrill. What's the most important skill for an athlete? I gotta say, teamwork. Team Wings is one big crazy family. Keeps things interesting. Here for it. Go Wings! And sports reporter Chloe here. Got a sec for an interview? Sure, whatever. What made you want to compete in the extreme games? Winning! This is a loser free zone. Being a pro athlete can be tough. What does it take to be the best? Simple. Be a part of Team Blaze. The rest are just posers. Uh huh. Well, you sure are confident. Thanks for the realness, I guess. Hey, got time for an interview? I gotta get the Tiburon hot take. Sure. What made you want to try extreme sports? A close friend of mine introduced me to it. I gave it one try and I was hooked. Do you think it's okay to try and take any shortcuts in a competition to get ahead? Never. Cheating's the worst. Totally not cool. And... that's it! Thanks! We totally did it, guys! Three teams interviewed for the Mag Slammin' Sports Special, and we didn't even break a sweat! Up next, photos!
today. Three rockin' interviews, done and dusted. Great work! Don't forget to come back here once you publish them. We've still got loads of cool events coming up. Maybe try another look. Come back wearing sporty clothes and green makeup. Something like what I have on. You can always hit the stores if you need something new. I think someone's been messing with my skateboard. My wheels came loose during my last run, and I almost crashed into the audience. You cool? How many fingers am I holding up? I'm fine. My board's seriously dinged up, though. I can't believe it. Someone tried to sabotage me just to take me out of the competition. Don't worry. No way we're letting some sneaky saboteur ruin the contest. We'll figure out who did this. Really? Oh, thanks. Hey. If it helps, I was hanging out in the stands earlier. And I wasn't paying much attention to my board. Ooh, maybe that's when the saboteur saw their opportunity to take it and booby-trap the wheels? Great thinking, cool cat. We'll start by asking around in the stands.
Excuse me, did you see someone take the skateboard from around here? Skateboard? No, nothing like that. Now that you mention it, I did see a guy take a skateboard to the press area and come back later to drop it off. He seemed kind of shifty, if you ask me. I think he was wearing some Team Blaze gear. Team Blaze, huh? Thanks! Ladies, let's hit the press area. This mystery ain't over yet. This has got to belong to the culprit. They must have dropped it when they were tinkering with the wheels. Wow, Yaz. Have you been writing a mystery story lately? Because your detective skills are mad impressive. Uh, guys, the phone just got a text. Let me see. <gasps> Looks like they're headed to the airport. This is our chance. If we head to the airport now, I'm sure we'll find our saboteur there. Let's move. Hmm, where'd I put my cell phone? It's not in my pocket. Hey, is this your phone? Uh, yeah. Where do you find it? Oh, nowhere. Just at the Extreme Games venue, where you sabotaged a competitor's skateboard. How could you know that? I thought no one saw me. Sorry to be the bringers of seriously lame news, but turns out Team Blaze tried to sabotage the competition. They admitted everything. Wh what? Then I guess I have no other choice. Team Blaze must be disqualified from the Extreme Games. Although that does leave us one team short. Unless... What if you guys join the competition? You've definitely got the teamwork part down. You mean us? Like us us? That would be awesome! Perfect! You should chat with the track organizer. They'll help you find all the gear you'll need. You're the new contestants, right? Team Bratz? You should head to the prep area to get your competition gear. Come talk to me whenever you're ready. You bet.
Introducing Team Brass. Scorching, styling, and ready to slay. <laughs> nice! Head out onto the track and show us what you got. Girlfriends, we won! I know, right? Everybody, huddle up! This would make the greatest shot for the magazine. Give me a sec. My phone's blowing up. Uh, guys? I think Mr. Beretti's calling me. You know, THE Beretti? No way! Quick, put him on speaker. Ciao, girls. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, mio amico. I'm calling with an idea. Since the first time I met you all, I could see into your hearts. And there I saw passion. I'm organizing a fashion show in Seoul, with designers from all over the world. And I want you to participate with your own designs! Wait up! Us? In Seoul? With our own designs? That's right! What do you say? That's Bunny Boo for, we'd totally love to! Whoa! This is major! Looks like we're headed to Seoul. I've emailed you the travel arrangements. Why don't you head over to the airport and hop on the first flight over? Thanks, Mr. Beretti. We won't let you down. See you in Seoul. Is this real?
Ah, you made it. Welcome to Seoul. Mr. Beretti, hey. Uh, no time for chit chat, I'm afraid. Uh, catwalk preparations are calling. But here, take the keys to your apartment. Once you're settled, come find me at the Art Expo. We have much to discuss before the fashion show. You got it, Mr. Beretti. See you there. Oh, and one more thing. Our event sponsors are very demanding. For the event to be a success, all the designers have to be oh so popular. So, it would be great if your magazine could get, shall we say, 200,000 subscribers by then? 200,000? Those are some serious numbers. <laughs> Knowing you girls, I'm sure you'll manage. Got to run. Ciao. Hello? See, si, Baretti here. No, I said green coat. Green! Ciao! This place is awesome! Please! Awesome doesn't even cover it! It's amazing! Man, I can't wait to check out the street fashion here! Or just feel the vibes of the city! Yeah, yeah, but first... Let's unpack? What? No! Are you crazy? Let's go shopping! Angel, yes! Already? We just got here. I'm gonna chill here. It was a long flight. Suit yourself. Let's hit it, girlfriends. Shopping! Excuse me? Can you tell us what's going on here? What's the crowd for? Uh, out of my way. Uh, uncalled for much? We just wanted to know what's going on. If you must know, we got a tip that a famous actor is in there. Really? Who? I don't know. Who cares? What matters is, he's famous. And we're gonna get a surprise snap of him as soon as he comes out. Wait. Don't you think someone should give him the heads up that there's a whole fleet of photographers outside? Um, no. Guys, we gotta get in there and warn him that- <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. But- Shh, I can't get distracted. Jeez, that guy was so rude. I don't like it. They've got this whole paparazzi ambush plan, and they don't even know who the actor is. Wait a minute! That's it! They don't know who the actor is! Well, yeah, that's what Mr. Rude said. I have an idea. Let's go find Dylan. Hey, Dill Man fans! Dylan here! Ready to rock the world with his killer dance moves! Dance break! Uh, 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 flip! Yeah! And the crowd goes wild! Woohoo! 
Uh, Dylan, you done performing to your imaginary audience, or should we come back later? You did not just see that. <laughs> Something's up at the fashion store. Could you help us out? You want my help? Why? Ooh, we kinda need someone to pretend to be a famous actor to distract the paparazzi. And you're perfect for the job. They're gonna know I'm not him. Don't worry about that. I have just the thing. Excuse me, Mr. Tom Denmark? Yes? Thought you should know there's a bunch of paparazzi in the street. They're following our friend around right now, but they're bound to be back. Thanks for the heads up. You guys here for some retail therapy? Us? Oh, oh yeah, uh, we're shopping for, um, uh, clothes? Sorry, I run a music column for our magazine, and I guess I'm a little starstruck. We'll leave you alone now. A magazine, huh? You know, you girls have great style. If you want to ask anything for your magazine, I'd be happy to give an interview. So, how did your career start? I got discovered by my agent in acting school. Do you prefer acting in movies or on TV? Hmm, neither. I prefer theater. And finally, is it true that... Does that mean you're going to quit acting? What? No way. Acting is my passion. Thanks for chatting to Bratz Mag. Is it okay if we take a picture? Sure, no problem. Okay, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one.
Ooh, looks like I've got a message. Wait, me too. And me. Let's see what it says. If my newest creation you wish to pursue, look for clues in the places you go through. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Are we sure this isn't another prank? It's no prank. I recognize that symbol. It's the symbol of the secret designer. Oh my gosh, the secret designer! Wait, what's a secret designer? The secret designer. He's only like Cool Cat's hero. She even wrote a paper on him once, remember? He's a top secret, anonymous designer making the world's hottest outfits. And no one knows his true identity. Awesome! And it sounds like he's inviting us to look for his newest design. Keep your eyes peeled for clues, people. Welcome to the animal shelter. Are you looking to adopt a pet today? Oh, I'd love to, but we're actually just visiting. Oh, yeah, of course. Everything okay? The truth is, the shelter's on the verge of collapse. We're gonna have to close at the end of this month. Close? What's up? We're just not getting enough donations. That's horrible, but don't worry. There's got to be something we can do. <gasps> Ooh, light bulb moment. How about we interview pet owners and turn their answers into a super stylin' online campaign for the shelter? You would do that? I've already picked out an account on social to partner with. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you.
the donations page. Every time I refresh it, the numbers keep going up. As soon as your campaign went live, support for the shelter started pouring in from all over the world. Thanks to you, we've got more than enough to stay open. To expand, even. Then our work here is done. Now you can help get all these adorable animals adopted. Hit us up if the shelter ever needs anything else. I will. Thank you. Ah, we meet again. How is Sol treating you? Like VIPs, this place is styling. Excellent. Now, to business. You're going to design outfits for my fashion show, see? Of course. Perfecto. Then I have a suggestion. Look around. Talk to the artists. Let the local art inspire your work. Speaking with bold, brilliant creators, there is no better fashion fuel. Great idea. Go, explore the expo. Feast your eyes on the fashion. Can you tell us about your piece? Certainly. I call this Stack of Spheres. What's it about? About? Spheres. Stacked. Okay. But what does it mean? Whatever you see in it. That's the beauty of art. It can mean something different to everyone. It's not important what I think. What does this piece say to you? To me? Hmm. All the spheres are perfectly balanced to support each other. They reach higher because they're working together. Just like us. Got a sec? Sure. Could you talk to us about your art? Of course. What would you like to know? I'm sensing a lot of spacey vibes with this piece. The moon, the planets... Does it have special meaning for you? 
This installation's my love letter to the stars. It depicts the night sky. All that empty space. It reminds us how very small we are in this big, big universe. Well, I'm definitely feeling it. I feel like a teeny tiny stud on Jade's fave black faux leather boots. Thanks for the perspective. I'm Sasha. Nice to meet you. What can you tell us about your art? I'm guessing you're not afraid of bright colors. No way. Color is my whole vibe. Bright, bold, in your face stuff. That's a hundred percent me. I love it! Of course you do. I loved making it. And when you create from the heart, it'll always be a masterpiece. Hello? Um, hello? You okay there? Sorry, I was just looking at your photos. The angles, the light, something about them. They're fascinating, like little frozen stories. Perceptive. You talk like a photographer. Do you take photos? I don't know, sometimes. Short stories are kind of more my thing, though. A writer, huh? Storytelling is at the very heart of great photography. You should take part in my photography challenge. What's that? It's simple. You have to find the places where I took these pictures and take your own selfie in each one. I'm showcasing my favorites in an online exhibition. You and your friends should give it a go.
Hey, back to show me your work? Here, what do you think? Fresh, authentic, modern, I love them. These will be perfect for my digital expo. Slamming. Hit us up when they go live. Will do. You know what? We should do an interview for our magazine. Get the photography angle. You in? Sure. Fire away. Okay, let's see. Do you only take pictures of cities? Cities are great, but I do portraits too. I'm interested in the story, not just the subject. What do these pictures say about Seoul? I think they show Seoul as the modern, vibrant city it is. Last question. What's your next big project? I've been hired to take pictures at this year's Style and Soiree in New York. Thanks! We did it! I put everything I had into these designs. We've got rockin' new ideas, the cutest accessories, and off-the-hook creativity. These outfits are gonna look hot on the red carpet. Fashion show, here we come! Okay, this is it. The outfit should be here. Uh, Angel, this place is empty.
Wait, what's that? There it is! A Scorchin' Secret Designer Ensemble, hidden in plain sight! It's gorgeous! Guys, let's head back to the apartment stat! I've got a serious case of triodonitis. Ah, girls! You're here! You like the look of the runway, see? So many design meetings to get it just so. More like love it! This place is happening! Now, before the show begins, I want to share a rumor I've heard with you. Ooh! Spill, Mr. Beretti! Word is, the secret designer is here tonight! The secret designer! Ah, uh, yes. He is a fashion legend. Perhaps you've heard of him? Actually, we kind of have a history with Secret Designer. We followed some clues he left and found a super style and outfit he designed. He rarely goes to public events, but something made him change his mind tonight. I wonder what. Non importa. If you want to find him, listen carefully. 
He'll be in disguise, so look for him among the servers and the staff. Rumors have it, he never goes anywhere without his favorite pair of red suede shoes. Good luck. We'll speak again when the show begins. Felicia, I can't believe it! You're here! Uh, no way I'd miss your show! Plus, I'm working on my fashion world tour photo project! Today, I'm all about catwalk fashion! Wanna do some modeling with me? Come back in fashionable clothes and red makeup and the same style as mine! Mm, kinda not the vibe I was go- Maybe try another look! Come back in fashionable clothes and red makeup! Something like what I have on! You can always hit the stores if you need something new! Yes? Can I offer you something to drink? Offer you a drink? Ooh, you're good. But we see right through you. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You can drop the act. We know you're the secret designer. Impressive. What gave me away? Your red suede shoes. You don't leave the house without them. Clever. Well, you found me. I suppose that earns you a secret designer inside scoop. You do want to know my design secrets, right? An interview? Of course! Keep it together, Chloe. Play it cool. How do you come up with such groundbreaking designs? I had a good teacher. And a true passion for fashion. Love that! How come you use a secret identity? Mystery is exciting. Isn't it? Why did you decide to come tonight? I heard a certain group of dazzling new designers would be here. The truth is, I came to see you. Good luck out there. I look forward to seeing your designs.
looking this gorgeous! You owned it, Boo! One sizzling photo coming up! It's time. Get ready, designers. The show is about to... What's this? The power is out. Uh, I can't see my hand in front of my face. How are the models supposed to walk a runway like this? I know they say black goes with everything, but this is taking it a little far. Mr. Beretti, any ideas? I, uh, uh, sorry, girls, if you'll just excuse me, uh, what have you done this time, old friend? We got this. Angel, hand me that flashlight. Let's find the fuse box and get these lights back on. Are you the ones that restored the power? <laughs> That's right! Designers, reporters, electricians... We're total triple threats. Well, now that the lights are back, I guess we should start the show. You'd better head backstage and get ready. We were born ready. Let's do it! That was amazing! Uh, I think they liked it? No, 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 girls. No one liked it. They loved it. Congratulations. Aw, thanks, Mr. Beretti. We couldn't have done it without you. Nonsense. The talent is all yours. <sighs> Come here, guys. I'm calling a group hug. We totally rocked this thing. I have to say, I'm impressed. I knew you were good, 
but that was something else. Sorry about the surprise. <clears throat> Power outage before the show. I needed to create a distraction while I spoke privately with my old tutor, Beretti. He agreed with me entirely. I think you've earned this. Don't open it until you're back at your apartment. See you around! Just getting it open? Come on, fingers. Work! Oh, jeez. Who knew press-on nails were such a tension builder? No way. What is it? These are four invitations to the style and soiree! What? Let me see. Shine bright, fashion queens. Get ready to sparkle and shimmer at this year's blingiest bash, the New York Stylin' Soiree! You've gotta be messing. The Stylin' Soiree? That's the most insanely exclusive fashion event of the year! Uh, understatement? Grab your cutest sneakers, girls, because we've gotta run to the airport! The brats are flying to New York! Good evening, and welcome to the Stylin' Soiree. Tonight, we make history. Bring your passion and your best fashion. Enjoy a magical midnight mixer for the world's most stylin' stars. This is so exciting. No joke, I've been photographed like a gazillion times already. Yeah, thanks again for the tick, Secret Designer. This party is wild. Hey, you okay? You seem a little stressed. Me? Stressed? No, no, no. Uh, how did you know? Truthfully, prep for the soiree has been a nightmare. Guests are arriving and nothing's quite finished. Gah! A perfect night ruined before it can even begin. Hold up. We've still got time. Whatever you need, we're on it. I second that. How can we help? I invited a DJ to play before the main show, but they're stuck in traffic. 
What we really need is some music. Music? That's like Bunny Boo's whole deal. She's always got poppin' playlists on her phone. Sasha, you can hook us up with some slamming tunes, right? Way ahead of you, girl. What vibe are we going for? Pop? Perfect! This event is about to get bumpin'! Plink! Oh, a text. Hmm, sounds like things aren't going too well over on the stage. On the down low, we heard you guys need some help? You got that right. I've been trying to set up the stage lighting for like an hour, but I just can't choose. What color do you like best? Great thinking. Give me a sec. funky. I like it. You know, it does look good. Thanks. By the way, you seen my assistant? She's meant to be styling the tables, but she's sort of gone MIA. Could you help me find her? She's got to be around here somewhere. Sure. One assistant coming right up. Hey girl, no stress, but I think your boss is looking for you. She said something about decorating tables. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh no, you look freaked. Let me guess, the decorators missed their flight, the key table ornament got stolen by a cute dog, or, or... No, no, nothing like that. It's just, I'm supposed to style all these tables for tonight, but I can't decide what theme to go for. The styling soiree is such a big deal. All the influencers post pictures and stuff. I'm feeling super overwhelmed. Could you help me out? What theme do you guys like best? Nice! Let's do it! Looks great! Thanks for the help. Guess I was vacationing in the land of Overthinkia on that one. Oh, I totally forgot. Marco Beretti's looking for you. You should probably go find him.
my favorite fledgling designers. Wonderful to see you. Mr. Baretti, how's it going? I, uh, could actually use your help with something. No probs. What's up? I seem to have misplaced my suitcase, and it had something important inside. Can you help me find it? On it. Girls, it's go time. We got a suitcase to find. Missing suitcase delivery! Ah, oh, perfecto! Thank you, Chloe! Now, why don't we take a peek inside? There! What do you think? Four designer dresses just for you! For the brats, I could give nothing less than perfection. So each gown was hand-sewn by your proudest mentor, me. You've gotta be kidding, Mr. B! These are for us? They're scorching! Oh, Mr. Beretti, thank you. We have to get you, like, a fruit basket or something. A fruit basket? Yes, that is so not styling. Quick, girls, go try them on and take a picture of the step and repeat. And when you're done, perhaps you could ask the boy band if they're ready to perform. Well, if it isn't the Bratz Rock Angels, looking good, ladies. I'd love to chat, but I'm kind of in the middle of a musical emergency. We're on in a couple minutes, but I can't find my bandmates. The noise boys are the best, but sometimes I swear it's like herding cats. Could you help me round them up?
All right. Noise is back together and ready to rock. Wait. Why is my lead singer miming at me like that? No time for charades, man. You're, uh, one syllable. A dog. No. A cat? Uh, a horse. You're a horse. Oh, no, I get it. You're horse. Your voice is gone. Ugh. Talk about bad timing, bro. If our front man can't sing, there's no way we can do the gig. Ladies, do you think you could fill in for us? <laughs> no problem. We've got your back. Totally. I know some scorching dance moves we could do. Major thanks. Have a blast up there. You're gonna tear the roof off this place. Let the secret designer know when you're ready to perform. I can't believe you did it! The styling soiree is a high fashion hit! The music, the lights, the decor! And I hear you are new headlining act. To think, the Rock Angels! Brats, your stage awaits! You ready for your opening number?